<laughs> Total disclaimer to this video is that everyone's opinion is totally different and also some things might work for someone and they might not work for others, it just totally depends I suppose on your opinion and everyone's obviously entitled to their own opinion so that's just, just wanted to put that out there before I start the video that some things will work for some people, might not work for others but um, I'm really interested to hear what works and what doesn't for some people so if you are on your second or third child or just really necessary you feel like stuff isn't needed then please do leave a comment below and let me know because I would love to know what your opinion is as well so let's just get into the video the first thing I found that wasn't really necessary and was really total waste of money for me personally was a baby changing station so, yeah a baby changing station was one of the things that I bought with my first and it was quite expensive it was a mum and papa's one I bought it was like wooden it had obviously the baby changing bit at the top I had three drawers at the side and then like an open open door kind of drawer thing um, I think I paid around about 194 I think it was um, but I got the whole set so I got I think it was 194 the changing unit and I also got the cotton and all that to match as well so I always just thought um, it was a lot easier just to literally get like a changing mat and just do it in the living room on the floor or wherever I was not necessarily on it doesn't need to really necessarily be in the living room but anywhere I was just have the changing mat and do it on the floor instead of every single time I had to change the baby's bum I had to always go into the room and change its bum um, or even doing it on my knee in the living room as well if you feel comfortable doing that obviously but that added I felt comfortable doing that so that's what I decided to do um, so I didn't really find it useful I kind of used it more for storage and just piling junk on it if I'm honest it wasn't really something that I used to change baby's bum often enough to have paid the price I paid for it so the second thing I would say I thought was kind of a waste of money a waste of time and a waste of space would have been a baby bath so I had a cesarean obviously if you know and you watch my channel you don't know I had a cesarean um, so I had this big bulky bath I think it only cost about seven pounds or something for this bath um, I had like a thermometer already in it which was a good thing I really liked the fact that it could tell me like, the temperature if it was alright for the baby but trying to carry that from the bath especially straight after having um, the operation was like, really difficult because obviously you had to carry it and take it out of the bath or carry it to somewhere else that was really difficult for me that's one thing I'd say is just kind of waste of space and just really unnecessary so this time round I never bought a baby bath what I bought this time round was time round what I bought was just like a kind of seat thing a soft it's a thing you put in the bath um, it's like soft foam and you just sit it in the bath and sit the baby on it securely and for when I get comfortable with after doing that obviously when it's about a month or something they start using like a baby bath seat kind of kind of one that goes like lies right down you can use it from newborn but I don't think I'll feel safe enough doing that straight away so I've decided that that's what I'm going to do this time round number three so the third thing I think that was kind of a waste of money is a nappy bin so a nappy bin I just thought I never um, actually purchased one with Fevros because I didn't even know you had them then to be honest um, I had no idea about them until this baby came around and I just think they're such a total waste of money what's the problem with putting the nappy in your normal bin and just taking it out or anything like that I do stay on a fourth floor flat still manage perfectly fine to take my bin out every day um, so that it didn't smell or anything like that so it just wasn't really necessary for me as a as a person I suppose. So this thing I didn't really find very well like practical really was hooded baby bath towels. Hooded baby bath towels for me were kind of, they, I felt like after a couple of weeks they were kind of too small for the baby. It didn't like properly wrap the baby up. Um, they looked so cute in pictures and everything else but they weren't very practical for us. Um, so I ended up just using my um, my normal towels for the baby which I'm going to be doing this time round anyway I didn't really find kind of useful was like the baby bottle like the ones like the baby bag kind of things you put your bottle in to keep it warm I just thought they were like kind of they were just really bulky and took up a lot of room in the changing bag 
and I just didn't really find them useful at all. Um, my bottles didn't even kind of stay that warm when I used them. I used the Tommy Tiffy ones last time after having either those, and it didn't really stay. To be honest, the bottle didn't even stay that warm, and it wasn't even in for that long, which was obviously a problem. Um, what I tend to do, or what I tended to do, um, after a couple of months with Eve Rose is I would just boil the kettle in the morning and I would fill like three, four bottles up and then I would just take them around with me and the time, and my changing bag, and the time that um, I got to use them, there would be an alright temperature for the baby so you could just use it straight away and just put the milk in, the formula, sorry. Um, so I just thought they were kind of waste of money, really bulky and just take up so much room in the changing bag and just weren't really up to scrap really what I thought. Another one is, um, that I, this isn't really something I don't find um, unnecessary, just something I wouldn't really tend to do. What I've done with Eve Rose, a lot of Eve Rose's clothes were really expensive um, and I just thought it was such a waste of money because she either put all over it and it got stained she only ever got to wear a lot of her clothes two times at the most because she either was sick all over it or she pooed all over it or something and it got really stained um, so it wasn't really it's not really unnecessary if you have the money and you want to spend money on expensive clothes then totally up to you but I just think it is kind of a waste of money that they don't get really good wear out of it um, yeah she only got to wear it about two times at most I would say because she either pooed they put all over it and it gets stained or she was sick or it didn't fit her because they grow so fast. Eve Rose was in zero to three months, so I think two weeks, I think two to three weeks at the most. She just grew so fast that a lot of the trousers weren't fitting her or tights and things like that. Like the dresses and tops were alright but it just must, she must have just been growing her legs, must have just kept growing. Um, and they didn't fit for like three months. They were all either ruined by pooing sick or... They just didn't fit it anymore and it's really obviously baby clothes all together is quite expensive as like a particular thing. Um, so yeah, this time round I've not, I've kind of tried to keep buy, like buy like special outfits for like just in case one day we're going to an event or one day um, we're going out for like special dinner or whatever then I would put, yeah, not like, I'm not going to say expensive outfit on but I would put something that was... Um, a lot nicer than just like when we're in the house and we're just going to have like a baby grow on or a vest or something like that. There's no point really wasting a lot of money on clothes. Okay, so the last thing I found that wasn't very useful for Eva Rose as a baby was one of the nightlight things. Um, one of the nightlight things and um, it has music as well. I had one in her Moses basket um, ever since she was born and she just... It didn't seem to soothe her, it didn't seem to calm her down, it just didn't even change anything. I think the most out I got out of it was it was making me fall asleep the music. Um, I just didn't feel like it, it helped at all. This time round I'm actually going to try the white noise thing. Um, I heard about that a couple of months ago and I'm going to give that a go this time. Um, the nightlight wasn't, it was about £20 the one I had. And it was a really teddy one and it had like started like project stars uh, onto the like the sky or whatever, whatever the positioning of it is, um, but I just thought it was really unnecessary to be honest, um, didn't really get used that much in our house, um, so yeah that's kind of everything I think that's not really necessary for a baby, I know a lot of people say that a perfect prep machine, Tommy Tippy perfect prep machine isn't really, a lot of people think a Tommy Tippy perfect prep machine um, is really unnecessary but I never got to um, get one of them with Eva Rose. I didn't even know what they were at the time, I don't think. Um, but, yeah. A lot of them thought that was really unnecessary. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that, actually. But this time round, um, I, I, I don't have an opinion on that one yet because I've not actually tried it. But I've got one this time round and I'm going to see how it is for night feeds more like Leslie. More than likely, I will just be using it for night feeds. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna see what that's like, and then I'll um, just gonna see what that's like, and then I'll have an opinion on it if I like it or not once the baby's here. Um, but 
But anyway, if there's anything you think that's really unnecessary for a baby, then please comment below because I would like to have a look at um, other people's opinions on things that they think yeah. they didn't use very much. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out more other videos. Say bye. Bye.